Your Excellency is the Foreign Minister and your delegation. Uganda, the people of Uganda and myself welcome you here. You are the first high level Russian government leader who has ever visited Uganda. As I told you in our private meeting, I've been active for, more, for the more than 60 years now as a student leader and as a leader in other capacities. I therefore have been following and I, I never saw Gromiko coming here. He was the foreign minister for a long time. He never came. Oh. The other leaders, Kosigin, never came. But you have come, so we welcome you here. <laughs> However, the fact that no high-ranking Russian leader has ever come here, Russia has been supporting the anti-colonial African movement for the last 100 years. I have informed you in our private meeting that by 1900, the whole of Africa had been colonized except for Ethiopia. Africa had been colonized partly because of our internal weaknesses. We had uh, feudal chiefs who were incapable, who could not defend our, our independence. And Africa had been being ravaged by the slave trade for, uh, for almost 100 years before the colonization of 1900. When the African chiefs failed to defend our independence, the Africans started organizing led by new forces. And the first group was in South Africa in 1912 when the African National Congress was founded. That was the, now the modern African and colonial resistance movement. Fortunately, and that's, what, that's how Russia comes in, in 1917, a new force took over Russia. These were the Bolsheviks. I don't know what problems you have with the Bolsheviks, whether you like them or you don't, but for us, we appreciate them because they supported us. They started supporting our anti-colonial struggle. And that is our relationship with Russia. Russia, so the Soviet Union, supporting the anti-colonial movement in Africa. Then in 1949, we were also lucky to have a new, a new force the communists taking over uh, China, the, the big country of China. And again, they supported us. Then we had some other socialist countries, Cuba and so on. So therefore, whenever issues come up and some people want us to take positions against Russia, we say, but you people, these people have been with us for the last 100 years. How can we be automatically uh, against them? We have even forgiven our former enemies, the colonialists, the ones who had colonized us, the ones who had actually taken slaves from here and did bad things. We have forgiven them and we are working with them. How can we be against, uh, be against somebody who, who has never harmed us and who instead helped us. 
Yes, when the Russians make mistakes, in 1968, I was in the university, and I was in the streets in Dar es Salaam, demonstrating against uh, Brezhnev's decision to invade Czechoslovakia, to overthrow Alexander Dubček. So, if Russia makes mistakes, then we, we, we tell them, like, like, like we did in 1968. But when they have not made a mistake, we cannot be against them. So this is point number one. This is the historical context which, which those who are ignorant about world affairs should know. Because there seems to be a lot of ignorance in world affairs. People have very limited understanding of philosophy, of strategy, which we don't accept. For us, we have got our clear position as part of the African liberation movement. We know who is who, and who is doing what, and why, and we know where we stand. Coming to today, we have got a lot of potential. Well, we have, of course, we have been working with, the, with, the, with Russia and with the Soviet Union before, especially in the areas of security. Our first Air Force was trained by, by uh, by, by Czechs, we used to buy equipment from Czechoslovakia, and then the so Soviet Union itself, and we have been working with them on the security field. But now we have added new areas. The Joint Permanent Commission is going to meet in October and go into the details of the areas we can cooperate in. Uganda, as you can see, we produce a lot. There's nothing in agriculture in the world that we cannot produce here. So if you need anything, agriculture, coffee, we've got a lot of coffee. We're the biggest producers of coffee in the whole of Africa. Uh, tea, uh, milk, beef, grain, uh, bananas. We're, we're the second biggest producers of bananas in the whole world. So all those things, and some of our products go to Russia through, through Western Europe. But we can now deal directly with you. And then we have also talked of cooperation or cooperating in space, space science. Uganda would like to have its own small satellite, see what is happening around the, the globe. Then. Uh, Nuclear energy, although Uganda has got uh, hydropower and sun and so on, but we have also got a lot of uranium, which we would like to use to generate electricity and for other purposes, medical, uh, bi biotech and so on. Then in the area of the, what we call the pathogenic economy, the economy which deals with the vaccines, deals with therapeutics, deals with diagnostics. So all these fields are open. The market here is a big market. You have the internal market of Uganda of 43 million people. Then we have East Africa with a population of three, more than 300 million people. And then you have the whole of Africa which is part of the CFTA, the, the, the Continental Free Trade Area, of 1.5 billion people. So we, 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 we want to trade with Russia, we want to trade with all countries of the world. We don't believe in uh, uh, being enemies of somebody's enemy. No, we want to make our own enemies. Not, not, not fight other people's enemies. This is our, our, our doctrine. The, the, 
when there was the Cold War, one day they asked me a question. Are you pro-East or pro-West? I said, you must, you must think I am an idiot. Why do you think my, my main job is to be pro-somebody? I am pro myself. And I deal with all other people according to how they relate with my own interests. These people think we are, we, are, we, are, we are stupid. Such a question is an idiotic question. It's not my job to be pro-East or pro-West. I am pro myself. And I, I deal with people according to how they relate with me. So if you invite me to talk, you do so at your own risk. I can talk for a long time. So not to take your time, I welcome you to make your comments. Thank you very much.